trigonometry right angled triangles in this video we are going to continue with finding a side in a right angle triangle given one side and one angle we're still going to do so cop tour you will find this on page 447 in the Namibia ordinary level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success let's look at an example in the diagram kl is 8.21 angle l is 55 and angle k is 90 find the length of jl so jl so i'm standing at the angle given there and i name the sides the one over the 90 is the hypotenuse this is the opposite and this is the adjacent now so first thing name your sides second thing choose the two sides that's going to play the game the one given and the one asked so who's out of the game this one is out of the game just cross it out so if i'm looking at the word sokatua adjacent hypotenuse adjacent hypotenuse so it will be cos so it's cos of 55 is adjacent over hypotenuse and now now what is different do you see that the unknown side is at the bottom now i want to show you you can do it to have cross multiplying which i did there put it over one i cross multiply then i get um, 8.21 jl cos 55 and then i divide on both sides with cos 55 cos 55. so basically i'm getting the side always the side first divide instead of multiply divide cos 55 okay so it will always end at that division so then i press it on my calculator and i get 14.3 correct to three significant figures okay i want you to stop the video and again i want you to do a i want you to do b and I want you to do, no, I think we can just go for A and B. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Now again, first thing, I'm going to name the sides from the angle given. So this is the angle given. Do you see that 44? So the long one is going to be the hypotenuse. The one over this one is going to be the opposite. And the one next to it is going to be the adjacent. Now, who's playing? Um, I'm looking for the unknown. So this is the side given. This is the side asked, and you are out of the game. So O over H, do you see? So I'm going to say this is number A. So this is going to be sin of that 44 equals, remember, it's opposite over hypotenuse it's always the first one opposite on top hypotenuse at the bottom and i write it there in brackets so what is standing in the place of opposite seven what is standing in the place of the k so did you see the unknown end at the bottom so you can just remember it's going to be k seven divide you just remember to first write the side and then the sin or the cos or the tan otherwise just do cross multiplication and it will work out and now you're just going to press it on your calculator and just get my calculator actually okay so just press it on your calculator i just want to see this is try now 11 and this is number a so i'm going to say seven divide sin 44 equals and it's going to give me correct to three significant 10.0 or no it's it's going to be i'll show you okay let's just write it so it's 10.076 so if it's three that's seven it's going to be 10.1 and this is all in meters that is going to be my answer okay let's do number b i'm going to keep here on top because the pen works better there okay remember at the angle given and this is this angle name your sides that's always step one so this one is going to be the hypotenuse 
this one is going to be the opposite and this one is going to be the adjacent. So the side given and the side as and I cross out that one. So adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be cos of 36 equals adjacent, oh, let's just write it, over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is going to be 11, the hypotenuse is going to be n. So n is going to be 11 divide cos 36. Okay, so if I look at that one, 11 divide cos 36, I'm going to get correct to three significant figures, 13,6 meters. And that's going to be my final answer. Okay, let's move on. Now in the next example, it's going to be mixed, meaning I'm still looking for a side. I'm still giving you one side and one angle, but the multiplication and the division. So just make sure that if you do it in that three steps, you will not struggle. Okay, so let's just see, yes. I think A and B, yes, let's just do A and B. So if I look at this example, I'm just going to start with number A. Again, you can stop the video. As soon as you're finished, you can continue the video. So stand at the angle given, name the sides. This is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. So who's playing the game? Opposite, adjacent, who's out? Now always write your word. It's just for me the easiest way. So, ka, tua. If you can do it in another way, it's excellent. Okay, so opposite over adjacent, so it's going to be tan. So I'm going to say tan of how many degrees? 51. Now always, this is very important. Um, that equals minus two four. Always, tan opposite must be on top and adjacent must be at the bottom. So if it's opposite on top and adjacent at the bottom, and now I can look, where is the unknown? The unknown is on top, and if it's on top, it's multiplication. But otherwise, just put it cross multiply and it also will work out. So, but. Otherwise, just remember it's on top, so it will be 12 multiply 1051. And if I do that, 12 multiply 1051, then it's going to give me, oh, let's just get the pen correct, 14.8 centimeter. Okay, then the next one, number B, where am I standing? I'm standing here. So this is my hypotenuse, this is my opposite, and this is my adjacent. Who's playing the game? Opposite, adjacent, who's out of the game? Adjacent, hypotenuse, opposite is out of the game. So now I'm just going to start. So adjacent, hypotenuse, adjacent, so it's going to be cos. So I say cos of how many degrees? It's 29. Now always, I prefer first write this, it's adjacent on top and hypotenuse, because then you cannot make a mistake. Then what is standing in the place of adjacent? A number, 25. What is standing in the place of hypotenuse? A B. And now the unknown, there the unknown was on top, there the unknown is at the bottom, so now it's going to be a division. Um, I just want to get that, uh, so it's going to be 25 divide cos 29. And the answer of that is going to be 28,6 centimeter. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now in this it's almost like mix. 
So there's two 90 degree triangles. So let's just quickly see how they do it. In the guide, find the length of AC. Now if you look at AC, the problem is there is AC, but I don't have another side there. But So in this case, although this is the one I want, let's just mark it. This is the one I want. But if I look at this green triangle, let's make it green, I don't have another side. So meaning I first have to work inside this red triangle to get this side. And if I have this side, I can get that side. And that's what I'm doing. So I work in this one from the angle given. So there I'm standing. I know this side opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So who's playing the game? It's going to be adjacent and hypotenuse. So it's cos 40 is adjacent over hypotenuse and now it's going to be, so in this case it's going to be a division, so it's 10 divided cos 40, I get this. Now it's almost like I know now that one and if you, if you remember from grade 8, if you approximate, say, this one to an extra significant, you can do it even to 4, then this one will be correct to 3 significant or 5. Okay, so then I write it there. And now, what angle is now given? This one. Do you see? There I write it in. So now, again, I name the sides opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. Who is the two playing now? Who is out? opposite and this, so it's going to be sin. So then it's going to be this divided by this, and only on top, so it's still a division, and there I get my correct answer. So it's just like a combination. Again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Now in this one, I'm going to work just on this one. Again, I want AC, it's almost the same. But I'm first going to work in this triangle. So I'm first going to stand there and name my sides. So the long one is the hypotenuse. This one is the adjacent. And this one is the opposite. Okay. So now I'm going to say, okay, it's going to be adjacent. And I'm, I'm looking for this one, hypotenuse, and this one is out. So adjacent and hypotenuse, let's just write our word again. So, ka, to, a. So in this case, it's going to be adjacent, um, adjacent and hypotenuse, there. So I'm going to start this one by saying cos, this is number 1a, Cos of that 20 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 11. The hypotenuse is the one I'm looking for. So let's call it BC. Let's call it the correct name, BC. Now the unknown is on, at, at the bottom, so it's a division. So I will say B, this pen, BC equals 11 divide cos 20. So I'm going to say it and then I'm getting, now the best is you can work with the unapproximated, sometimes it's better because it's not your final answer, don't approximate. If this was question A and the rest B, then you can work with the three significant, but now this is still A. So now, what I'm going to do, just to help me here, I'm going to fill it in here. So this one is now the 11.705. So now, I'm just going to go with this one. So in this case, I'm standing now here. So this, this is, this is going to be my, now let's just make it correct. This is hypotenuse. This is my opposite, and this is my adjacent. Who's playing the game? It's opposite, and I put adjacent is out. So who is it going to be? Sin. So I'm going to say sin of 35, okay? And that is going to give me 
um, let's just say sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is going to be that 11.705955. Over um, hypotenuse, let's just find hypotenuse. In this case, I'm looking for it, so it's AC. So the unknown, uh, unknown is at the bottom again, so it's just going to be that 11.70595. And I multiply with sin 35. No, it's not multiply. I'm just going to correct that little. Because the unknown is the bottom, it's going to be division. I didn't concentrate. Okay, so then it's going to give me a final answer of 20.4087, but very significant, it's 20.4, and that will all be in centimeter. And that's how you do it. So if, if you work in this, first work in the big triangle and then work in the smaller triangle and then come to the practical also.